Hello everyone, welcome to The Lift. Today I wanted to talk to you about a question I get pretty often from people asking me, what is the bare minimum they can do to achieve the goals that they want to achieve? And people all the time are asking like, what are the, what are the main exercises? And sometimes people ask this in, um, in good ways where it's just that they don't have the time to get to the gym every single day. And so they're wanting to do as much as they can with this little time that they have. And other times people will ask in ways that they're just wanting to be as lazy as they possibly can but still achieve everything that they want to achieve. And I, I think about this and I think about how we go to God. See yesterday we learned that when, it, when we look to God for help it brings Him so much joy. But today I want to talk about the way in which we talk to God and the way in which we ask Him to provide for us and the way in which we ask Him for help. I was reading this morning in Luke chapter 11 verse 10 and it says, For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to him who knocks the door will be opened. And I, I kept thinking about of all the things that I've asked God for and I didn't receive. And all the times I sought to see where he wanted me to go next and he didn't show me. And all the times when I felt like I was just beating down a door begging God to just come close to me and he, it didn't feel like he opened the door. But here's what I want us to think about. When we ask and when we seek and when we knock, with what intention are we doing those things? Are we doing it saying, God, I truly believe that you are the provider and God, I truly believe that you can do amazing, amazing things. Or are we saying, God, do this or I'm going to be furious with you if you don't. Are we saying, God, do this so I don't have to. Because so many times we ask God for things that he's already provided the answer for. But we say, God, make me healthy and God says, okay, well, eat better and go exercise. We say, God, give me wealth. And God says, okay, well, quit spending yourself into debt. And we say, God, provide for me someone to be with me. And God says, yes, but what are you going to do when you have that person? Are you going to continue honoring me? Or will then your body become something that I could never be proud of? With what intention do you seek God? With what intention do you ask and with what intention do you knock? Because you see, that makes all the difference. But I do know that if you ask God wholeheartedly inside of His will, and if you seek Him and you are just trying to chase Him with everything that you have, and if you are knocking not so that you can gain something for yourself, but knocking so that you can draw closer to the one who's already given it all to you, then I guarantee you that you will find the strength that is so much more than muscles. And you'll find, just like it says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, that physical training is good, but spiritual discipline and training is even better, providing benefits in this life and in the life to come. Find the strength that is so much more than muscles. This is The Lift.